Hi you guys, it's Jenna with the Swiggle Boys and Girls Club. Today we're gonna be doing art and we will be painting rocks. So let's begin. So I unfortunately wasn't able to find paint at the store. So I'm gonna be using these washable markers. And then I found my flat rock at my parents' farm, but you can find your rock outside or on a walk. Um, it's better to have like a flatter one. Um, so it's easier to have like a surface, definitely if you're painting um, to lie down on. So these are the things that you'll need. And if you are painting, you will need some paint, um, some paint brushes and a cup of water with a paper towel or a napkin. My rock's a little bit dirty, so I'm gonna start by washing it off. After I washed my rock, um, it's obviously wet, so I took a paper towel to it, but now I'm gonna let it sit here for about 15 to 20 minutes before it gets that lighter color that it had before. Um, and then I will start coloring. It's been about 10 minutes and my rock is looking good, so I'm gonna start coloring it. This is my finished product. It's just a simple be great in a cloud. This was supposed to be yellow. Unfortunately, when you uh, put markers on rocks, the colors don't always turn out the way you want them to, but I'm happy with it and I'm going to be placing it outside of my house um, so other people can see. Um, and like I said, I'm very thankful that I had a flat rock so that it easily just sat on my table for me to color on. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching my video, you guys. I hope that you were able to paint your rock instead of color it, but if you had to color it like me, I hope you had fun too. You can use this in the future by painting sticks and leaves that you find outside as long as you ask an adult's permission. Um, I just have one question for you and that's where are you gonna put your rock? I hope you have a great week. Um, I'll see you next time, bye.